been a full-time fiber seller for three years now, so I think I know a little bit about what works and what doesn't work. What is up everybody? It's your girl Tyra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. Here on this channel, I create resources for black creatives who want to escape fear and share their creativity with the world without compromising their faith in God, their integrity, their uniqueness, their creativity, and without breaking the bank. So today's video, we're gonna dive into the world of Fiverr. Now I did post a video about Fiverr. It was Fiverr versus Upwork and you guys have loved that video. So I really wanna take time to dive into the world of gig work. Now, if this is like the beginning of your search for learning about Fiverr, Fiverr is an online platform where freelancers get connected to clients. You create a page and then clients can see your work by up you uploading your portfolio and they can buy your gig. The gig is a project that you create, you set your prices, you set the scope and you go from there. So with that being said, today I'm gonna to share with you eight Fiverr gigs to start with no experience. Let's get into it. So if you're new on my channel, first I wanna say about my experience on Fiverr. I joined Fiverr back in 2015. I didn't take it seriously back then. Back then it was all about the $5 gig, so you weren't really making much money. But now it's literally like the hub of freelance gig-based work. So on Fiverr, you can catch me doing voiceover services. I do YouTube consultations, but my bread and butter is my spokesperson gig. With my spokesperson gig, I create videos for brands all over the world. And it has honestly been an amazing ride. I created my own package. And over the years, I have been upgrading my package as well. So with that being said, if you're looking to get into Fiverr, but you just don't know where to start because you don't necessarily have any definite skills and you're not an expert in an area, I got you. Let's dive in. So the very first gig that you could have without any experience is a transcription gig. You can offer transcription services and this is literally where people will come to you, give you an audio document and you just type it out. Every single word. The only thing that you have to be a little experienced in is using a keyboard and using a computer. But before we even keep going, I do wanna say whatever gig you decide to do, please don't just do it for the money. And I say that because you have to be able to deliver this gig on a consistent basis with consistent quality. So if it's something that you actually hate, don't even bother trying to make a gig about it because you're gonna make yourself miserable. And I had to learn that the hard way. All of the gigs that are on my page right now are not the gigs I started out with. My very first gig was putting flyers up around my college campus. And from there, I created my spokesperson gig, but I said, oh, let me go ahead and dabble into other things. I created a product photography gig that I did for a little while, but it just got out of hand with the requirements that clients want it and I've even gone so far as to do a podcast listening gig which brings me to my next gig with no experience reviews and testimonials now let's back up fake testimonial videos are against fiber policy so you can't create fake testimonials let's get that out in the open, but you can do reviews or a testimony if you actually utilize the service or the product from this brand. So you can create a gig that says, I will review your product in 48 hours. I will review your skincare product. I will review your tech product. You can make it as niche as you would like, depending on your personal preferences and the things that you would personally like people to send to you. I had a podcast review gig. Nobody actually bought it, so I took it off my page, but I would listen to your podcast. I would listen to up to 45 minutes of a podcast, depending on the tiered gig, and I would give my honest opinion. This takes absolutely no experience, and anybody can do it because, especially in this day and age, everybody got an opinion about something. Number three is virtual assistant work. If you are good at data entry or just 
basically following rules and you have access to internet and a great computer and you like to be a self-starter, you could be a virtual assistant, especially in this specific space of being a YouTuber. I could definitely use a personal assistant because I have little tasks that I don't necessarily want to do. And if that's something that you're okay with doing, it could be very lucrative. Number three is kind of a quirky one, but I saw this one a lot earlier on in my days of Fiverr, and I thought about having this type of gig, but hold your sign. Now, this one can be a little, I don't know. Um, so I actually, actually, I had to do one, y'all. So I didn't have a hold your sign gig, but a random person asked me to do it, and I said, okay, I can do it. I had to hold a sign. It was for like a, a charity, so it was nothing crazy. I researched it beforehand, which if you do these types of gigs, please research what you're holding a sign of, and don't ever offer just holding a white card. Like if you say, I will hold your sign, and you just hold a, like you deliver a picture like this, and they can edit it, no, absolutely not, because you never know what people will do with your photos and it's out there in the internet, internet forever. So, hold your signs video. You can say things like, if you live in a very um, popular place like Paris, I will hold your sign in front of the Eiffel Tower. I will hold your sign in front of the P Great Pyramids. If you live somewhere where you can do that, I will hold your sign in front of the Hollywood sign. I could do that when I'm here in Los Angeles. Think about different places if you wanna do this hold your sign, but you literally have to have no experience to do this one as well. Number four kinda goes a little hand in hand with that, and that is take photos of your merch. So if you would like people to send you their product or their um, merchandise, like a shirt or a purse or something, you can offer a gig where you will take a photo or a short video modeling their item. I don't have a gig like this, but I've been on Fiverr so long, I've just been all over the place. I've had so many clients reach out to me for various things. I had one lady reach out to me and she sent me purses. She, um, I worked with her, three times, so she sent me some sunglasses um, and two purses, and they were all very high quality, so I was very excited about this. You could honestly fall in love with the brand, so I feel like it goes even beyond just making money on Fiverr. You can really find some great products out there. Number five is anything UGC user generated content like TikToks or reels or review video like something that you would leave on an amazon review for a product you could have a gig where you say i will review your product and you just give them a very homemade video you don't have to have any special equipment you could just use your cell phone some people really want that type of footage my personal gig i provide high quality video services but i get a ton of people asking me hey can you just film this on your cell phone we want it to look very homemade i do though so there definitely is a market for that. If you don't have access to higher quality equipment, there is still a lane for you. The next one is user testing. So have you guys ever heard of like beta testing? It's where people with websites or apps or games let consumers test their first prototype. So you could have a gig where it's like, I will test your video game for two days or whatever the case may be. And then you give them their honest feedback. The game was glitchy. I didn't really understand the storyline, whatever the case may be. You are literally just giving your time so that you can help make these clients apps, products, services, better. Number eight is proofreading. The only thing with this one that you need to make sure you have experience in is reading. If you like to read, this is definitely a gig for you. You can say that you will accept someone's five page script, someone's entire novel, whatever you want. That's what I love about Fiverr. You create the gig, you create the scope of the gig yourself. So you will receive their file, proofread it, make the little edits if you want to. It's depending on whatever extras and add-ons you personally offer and you got a whole gig and you could there are so many sellers on Fiverr that make a fortune editing proofreading there is a market for it the biggest thing I want you guys to remember about Fiverr is that the possibilities are literally endless there is a market for you you are skilled enough at something to get on Fiverr and create your first gig so with that being said to help you guys along the way I have created a worksheet for you you can click the link down in the description bar below it is a free worksheet download it and get to work on your Fiverr profile because 
there is always money to be made. And I also wanna let you guys know, if you need a little more help, a lot of you have been reaching out to me via email for consulting. I do offer consultation services on my website. I've also included that link down below. My website is www.tirethecreative.com and I do have a consultation page where we will do creative brainstorming together or whatever you need for your personal brand. I am here to help, I am at your disposal. I really hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in today's video, leave it down below and I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications are on so you can get all of the alerts anytime I post any new fiber or gig related content. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.